Hi everyone, welcome to The Grace Life. So in this video today, we have a special collaboration and it's called Welcome to My Garden Collab and that's hosted by The Rustic Willow. So the co-hosts are The Crafty Cove, a Farm Charm Chick, and Six Kids and a Glue Gun. I'm going to be linking uh, the host and the co-host down below in the description box along with the channel links. I'm also going to be linking the playlist. So make sure and full watch the video, subscribe to our channels, and then head on over to that playlist so that you can see what everybody creates for Welcome to My Garden. So I hope you enjoy the video and click the like button because this helps us to grow on YouTube. Also comment below because we would love to hear from you. So if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. Um, I hope you like the video. I hope that you stay and subscribe. I'm very excited. And for all of you faithful ones that are always watching my videos and always here supporting me, you don't know how much I appreciate you. And let's jump into the video so we can enjoy it. So now in this video today, I decided to make a spring wreath with items that I purchased mostly from the Dollar Tree. So we're starting out here with a Dollar Tree wreath form and you can purchase this in any shape depending on the Dollar Tree. So we're using a round one. I'm gonna go ahead and use this garland. This was very, very available during the Christmas holiday and I bought a bunch of them. And we're gonna go around that whole wreath with this garland and that's what you see me doing right here. So what I love about this garland is that it goes all the way around the wreath form and it gives it a nice mossy grassy type of, um, of a feel and this is exactly what we want. Okay, so what I'm doing here is actually tacking that garland down so it doesn't move around. So 
So now in my stash, I found a couple of galvanized pieces, one of them being this welcome sign, and then that uh, galvanized metal heart. I thought this would be beautiful along with the bow, so I'm just gonna leave you to watch how I put this together. Now once we glue those metal pieces down, remember you find the placement for it first before you glue it down. Um, now we're gonna start using this uh, hunter green uh, burlap ribbon that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. We are going to make a nice bow so that we can go ahead and embellish the bottom with it. Now I created this bow and three different size layers and we're using the jute twine to tie that together. And then we're gonna make the tail and glue that down to the wreath first before we glue the actual bow.
so now we are done uh, putting this bow together now we're gonna glue it down and we are almost done with the embellishing I'm so excited about this wreath So we are finishing this off with some sunflowers and some other floors that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. So now here what I'm making is a swag because I didn't think it had enough embellishments with the floral so we need to add a little bit more guys. So we're making a swag and we're going to use this uh, to embellish the top of the wreath. Okay so that's what I'm doing right here. So now I do want to take a moment and thank the hosts and the co-hostesses for this collaboration.
After fluffing out the bow on the bottom, it's time to add the swag to the top and remember we still have to add the hanger. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed creating it. So if you liked the video, click like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every single time I upload a video. Have an amazing day, guys. Now it looks like we're ready to head on over to the reveal.